Everybody, it's Invicta. It's time to know you can run here the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance series. Happy Thursday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Thursday is going off to a great start here. We are waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes at the time of this recording anyway, but I hope you all are having a great day, and thank you all very much for all the support thus far this week. Hopefully, you're enjoying the new World of Warcraft expansion. We got new First Descendant season coming out. It's it's crazy time to be a gamer, man. It's it's all I'm all here for it. Speaking of gamers, here's your meme of the day brought to you. It's been a while since I've seen one of these. Brought to you by Wrong Examination 9837. Tothra was me after finally unlocking Death Certificate. I can't believe it's all over. What do we do now? What do you mean? Now we can finally play the game. <laughs> and this is very uh, on point as well because obviously I've been playing a lot of, of WoW. Getting back to the War Within. It's been a good time, man. I'll talk about it in a little bit. But first, ooh, is that a mega start here? Seed day is going to be Hotel Zulu, Charlie, Foxtrot, Delta, J Delta Juliet. Uh... 9-9. Nine, nine. We've got uh, Samson's Chain. Uh, but we're also starting off with Sack Dagger. But, of course, the main big reason here that we're kind of feeling good about this is the fact that we have Mega, baby. So Mega is a just giant brimstone fire blast that you can fire out here at a very, very large... Oh, it's a Return of Famine again. At a very large radius that can basically destroy anything that you want. Early game, it is pretty much going to be a hard GG carry. Boy, here, nice charge key as well. All we need is just to get two more room clears, and we're good. We use on the next floor. It gives you a very safe and very reliable run without you having to worry too much about... Uh, without having to worry too much about your HP early on, but you do have to be careful because it does, pro it does propel you forward, and it can sometimes take you in a direction that you don't want to go into. Uh, for example, going into like say an exploding barrel, or if you're if you get propelled right into enemies, something like that, it gets very unwieldy. But it is worth it, in my opinion, to go through the hassle of, of dealing with it because it is obviously one of the strongest uh, active items in the game. I will take another orbital, I guess, and we're just gonna head on down. What a start! Yeah, having a mega start is fantastic for us. It's going to it's going to provide us with a lot of safety. But again, we do have to still kind of worry about our our basic stats here. We have a not great tiers rate. We have terrible movement speed. Absolutely god awful tiers or uh movement speed here. But uh, again, all that is is kind of trumped up by uh by mega. As long as we can the, the goal with Mega is to try to get as many charges as you can back into it before it runs out. Or at least kill the boss so you know that you have a, a done deal in terms of the floor. Uh, I am going to take Speedball, obviously, because we need it. And then, yep, can't do that. So, uh, as much as it would be nice to have gotten in there, well, maybe it's still going to be active. Because I would use I would use uh, Sack Altar on this as well. But we need to get some HP here. And uh, that's very good. Petrified Poop is going to be very nice. But now is the time that I was talking about where, you know, you still, despite us having one of the best hard carry items in the game in terms of our in terms of our active item, we still have to be careful because now without it, obviously we're forced to deal with the stats that we've got. And they are not they're not great, brother. But I'm still I'm still excited about this run. I've been excited about the about the World of Warcraft expansion. It's been it does feel like a like a callback to the good old days. Um, I reconnected with some old guild mates that I've seen in in most cases it hasn't been it's been over 10 years since I, I last talked to some of these people I mean they have they've got like kids and like they're grown and all this crazy stuff <laughs> it's like man where did 10 years go some of them I haven't talked to even longer than that like, like 12 13 14 years and uh, it just it makes you realize that a how long I've been playing the game and also how long I've been doing YouTube and uh and streaming and stuff Ooh, that was lucky and then on top of that just the fact that every the the people that i remember are just they're, they're not the they're still the same people obviously but it's like it's like they've been it's like they've they've graduated to a new almost like a new arc in their lives it's 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 just nuts be careful the exploding bomb bomb rock here but we were able to use samson's chain to get rid of that uh timid rock which is nice got a stars card so yeah this is samson's chain is something that i just don't care about too much because it's 
I cannot believe I got stuck on got stuck on a rock or on a skull because I was trying to get away from this from the shot while also just trying to break through it with Samson's chain instead of just moving Yeah, Samson's Chain, needless to say, not the greatest item in the world. In fact, I think it's one of the worst, but it is nice whenever you do eat a bomb and you don't have any. Um, just be careful about getting stuck on, you know, skulls. So there are no... Wouldn't mind Dreamcatcher. There are no soul hearts in here, so we can't take the Devil Deal, even if we wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to buy the bomb because we just don't... I mean, we could go look for the secret room, but it's not over here. The secret room is probably in the elbow room of that uh, of that big room to the left, but I'm not going to worry about it. So, eight cents. We could go... I mean, we could go for a Hail Mary and go into the curse room. Normally, I would say I'm not down with this, with this with these stats, but in this case, if we are trying to get back into the, into the devil deal, it might be worth it, but it wasn't. It didn't cost us anything, but... Technically speaking, we could use the stars card to get out of here to save that half heart, but we're, we're about to get that back on the way on the transition from one floor to the other. Thanks to Dreamcatcher. And you really, really, really wanted to spend enough time. You could use Samson's chain to destroy every one of these pots if you wanted to. I'm only doing this as demonstrations because it does, it does take up a lot of time, obviously, which I'm not in a hurry, but at the same time, I really just don't feel like going through the hassle of doing all that. So if you want to do, do that, go for it. More power to you. I got to check. Oh, wait, wait. All right. Well, it was a good attempt. I was hoping that it was gonna it was gonna give us like a Degas rune. That would have been nice. Ooh, ghost pepper inside of the item room. So now we're cooking. Hit up Mega, get rocking and rolling here. We got to be very careful about our route and hope that we go in the right spot we didn't and we got to a dead end all right and that's pretty much the worst case scenario yeah that's uh that's terrible going in the wrong direction and then also getting into a room that delays you is uh bad enough you thought i was gonna go in the item room didn't you didn't you i was just getting that key uh, I'm not going to use the stars card yet to get ghost pepper. I will use it before we go before we actually do go to the boss because ghost pepper is going to be absolutely huge for us. No, the secret room is to the left of here. So I'm going to use a bomb and no, Samson's chain cannot get you into the secret room. Unfortunately, we get two bombs, which is nice. Wow, we have, we've been striking out so far. I mean, we're one for two for the bombing of the, of the penny eyed keeper, but yeah, I mean technically it should have been should have been three for two, Oops. unless of course you place the bomb perfectly at an angle that uh, that hits neither one of them. So this is what I was looking for here. Instead of doing a challenge room, I wanted to get I wanted to get the chests and see what's ever, whatever's in here, and then we use the stars card. To get out of there because that is worth way more than going into a curse room and backing out. In this case. So now we've done the challenge room, and then also we get all the benefits plus none of the difficulty or none of the danger. We get Ghost Pepper, which is going to be huge. It's going to fire out those blue candle shots every now and then based on your luck. Our luck is kind of high, so it would be nice for us to... There you go. Nice little lineup proc there on the floor lickers. Taking out the Diglets as well. Down they go. And going on to last week's question of the episode, technically Vuka had the most upvoted comment, but uh, she's she asked one similar. I want to say it was it was in regards to food. Uh, it's the food question one. What other food related items did you want? And uh, I did like this one from Phantom Menace five four zero seven, who said, "Question of the day: Did your heart skip a beat when you almost went to the delirium portal again, Hall?" So that one, obviously. Oh my gosh, we got a we got. We got car battery on Mega. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Uh, we should go buy that sack as well in case there's a key in there, which is not. Pills. All pills were on yesterday, man. It was it was tragic. But hey, look, I can't make the game. I can't make the game do it. I'm going to go in the curse room just because I don't feel like coming back over here on this side. Uh, plus, this gives us another charge for Mega. So that one, obviously, coming in from the Portals episode, the first one, not the second one. And yes, I was a little bit nervous that that happened. Um, getting getting into the Delirium Portal, it's really it's really strange how Repentance is because sometimes the Delirium Portal is just it acts like it's not there, brother. She's not going to date you, all right? It's great that you know how to dodge and everything, but if you just die, thanks. Uh, the delirium portals are weird because sometimes in repentance, and this goes for portals in general, sometimes they, they just act like they're not even there. Like you can stand over them. You can stand over them. We shouldn't be in range of that. Uh, you can stand over them and they do nothing, right? Like they just sit there and, uh, they act like you are, it becomes a part of the floor almost. And then there's other times like that time. Where the delirium portal actually is real and it just takes it, it basically just accepts isaac immediately and then you pour it on down the void so that would have on that run it would have been an absolute disaster luckily for that other run it wasn't a disaster but it was close we're one away from getting a double charge of mega obviously i wouldn't use it anyway though against frail uh just because he's pretty easy and even black frail is not too bad Black Frail is actually a little bit easier than regular Frail just because he only has one HP bar. And uh, his attacks aren't too insane. I'm hoping that Blue Fire... I hope that Ghost Pepper just roasts him like that right there. There we go. Big deal. We get an Angel deal. And a Soul Heart. Jesus Juice is going to give us a nice little damage upgrade. And we also get the Relic, which is going to give us a nice amount of Soul Hearts. And things are looking up. Even if we're not getting huge stat ups here, we're still looking okay. Gotta be very careful, by the way, of the angel statue with Samson's chain. It will activate it. Okay, so that was a sneeze. So we don't care about our item room. It's good to know. We're gonna pop Mega here and just get rocked and rolling. Now going back to Mega, this is this is something a little bit more sketchy too because. We have Samson's chain. That means that we have to be extra careful in the rooms. Oh my goodness, it's Jacob's ladder. That sounds like, sound like the Jason Bourne meme. Jason Bourne in Jacob's ladder. The super secret room is here. But yeah, with with Mega flinging you all around and stuff, you do have to be very cautious on where you where you go already but then on top of that we have to be doubly cautious because of the presence of samson's chain again we know that we don't have to worry about uh we do not have to worry about going into the item room just because it's a garbage item and it's not garbage but it's not one of my favorite and we don't have brimstone and it's not great <laughs> but jacob's ladder on the other hand jacob's ladder on the other hand jacob's ladder on the other hand Jacob's Ladder, on the other hand. The fantastic uh, hard carry item. Teleport? Nah. Nah, not today, brother. Uh, Petrified Poop is still pretty good here, especially if we end up getting a card against humanity. Now, Jacob's Ladder, what I will say, is, is only going to get better with our tears rate. So, that and also Ghost Pepper will, will also get better. Also, also. So if we can get a tears rate upgrade, Gertie, that'd be great. And we did. Thank you. A fantastic item room there. Uh, I think that was hallowed ground. I'm not entirely sure. It's either one or the other, I can tell you that. That's 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 how much I know. The pride. You chill out, Pride. Thank you. I think out of all the sins, I think pride 
I think Super Pride is probably my least favorite. We if we go off of the off of the just just those super counterparts. I think regular pride is also probably my least favorite one, just because of the, all the bombs that it fires off. And when it layers on those, it, it's almost like a uh, anarchist cookbook attack. Every single time, if they're layered on top of each other, it's very difficult to, to avoid. Now we have the Jacob's ladder. Whoops, Jacob's ladder mega, and we've gone the wrong way. All right. How does he do it? I was for sure that we were going the right way, but we're not. Obviously, Mega works phenomenally when you're talking about Void or anything that can give you extra charges. Car battery, it does work with car battery, but it it doesn't last as long as you might think. Um, I'm going to go back into the shop. Uh, I kind of want to do a mob trap room as well. And we got a Joker card. Yeah, and, you, and you're seeing here the if you you don't even have to see it, you can hear the proc rate of um, Jacob's ladder, which is just doing gangbusters. Now we just got another luck upgrade, which is even cooler. So that's going to help us out not with Jacob's ladder, but that's going to help us out with Ghost Pepper. So any t again, anything that we can do to increase our tears rate, we almost don't care about our damage anymore. That was incorrect. That was not hallowed ground. It's just the poop. And we might as well get a full charge for Mega Satan, even though I'm not going to use it against the boss. I didn't I didn't notice to see who the boss was, but Sigrid might be here. Oh. Okay. So we should go up to we still have plenty of time for boss rush. We should go and check out the store real fast. I would love to get that golden heart for money, but I gotta spend it so hard on it. Lucky Paul might be okay in case we do get in trouble. Thanks, Spider Mod. He's a bro. A fool card. We can also fire at the keepers and use the blue candle shot to extinguish or to uh, destroy them for the nickel, maybe. Now rocking a 73% chance for a deal with the angels or deal with the devil. It's, it's one or the other. One, yeah. You have this Joker card here. I am gonna go into the curse room just because I might as well. Soul heart's what I'm talking about, baby. So we profited a soul heart and a half. Well, just one soul heart basically out of there. Ah, monstro. Monstro two, in fact. You've seen that you can sort of use. Ghost Pepper is a defensive offensive item as well. There we go. Rusty Toasty Monstro 2, no problem at all. We get ourselves another movement speed. Thank goodness for that. We got a devil deal. Oh, man. Wow, we would have had Leviathan had I been able to take Lord of the Pit, too. That sucks. I mean, I'm still going to take both of these. I'm. Thing with Sulfur is we have car battery. So. But Mega, though, is pretty good, too. Taking Sulfur only for the for the Leviathan. I still don't think we can we can pass up Mega. Man, there's my boy host hat. Gonna full set it here and hope that this is the right way to go. We can get out of the boss boss rush if we if we needed to. There's a planetarium there. The Joker carb, that's not ideal. It's stonewalled by a, a, a host here. Wow, not one key. We also don't have to we don't have to not do the boss rush. Um He's got another mega, so yeah. If we go into the item room, well, we need to get a key, which we do. Well, let's get the planetarium first. Yep. 
Yeah, planetariums. That's why when people ask me, is it worth skipping item rooms and stuff? The answer is no, never. Unless you know for sure you're going to do, you're going to fight old beastie. There's no reason to skip item rooms in favor of planetariums. Like, yeah, planetarium items have, they, they've got good items, but they also have bad items. And you want a more an immediate upgrade for your run, especially early on if you're playing as Eden or really any character. Obviously, host hats are boy. We're going to get ourselves some explosion immunity, which I love. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we don't have to... Truly don't have to skip out here. and just We can just do boss rush without having to come back out. Soul hearts, all these old charges is great. That's not great. Well, actually, I will take Curse of the Tower because we are immune to explosions, so there's basically no reason to not do it. We need, to, we need to decide now, though. We're going to get it done or get off the pot. All right, so Sacrum Shuffle wouldn't be too bad either, but we just don't have the HP to facilitate it. So now I'm not going to use... Wow, Relic is going ham, too. I'm not going to use Mega for the mom fight. We just don't need to. We could save Mega for boss rush. The only way we don't do boss rush here is if we end up not having an item that's worth it. Take the Polaroid because we want damage. And we can get Goat Head. Definitely worth it. I don't really care too much about Little Horn, to be honest, because we already have enough tier effects that can carry. Plus, I'm not totally trusting this amount of uh this amount of damage that we have. And yeah, Ipecac is well we are explosion immune. Yeah, we don't actually we actually don't need to worry about Ipecac at all. Yeah, we are totally immune to, to explosions, so Ipecac has no effect on us at all, which is great. Oh, thank you, Spider Rod. Oh, thank you, Relic. I should mention, and I want to mention this, that uh, going back to WoW real quick, because I've, I'm kind of in it now, like uh, I'm like full sending WoW again. I do, we do have a guild still. Um, we are looking for people in the mosh pit to join up. We already have some people, with some senior members of the mosh pit, who have been playing WoW, and they they have they have joined. Uh, Lemming Zero and Rick Rue are going to be in charge of just inviting people, whatever. But anyway, the reason why I'm telling you this is because if you're in the Americas, if you're in the U.S., and it, it doesn't matter if you're on uh, Alliance or Horde, preferably Alliance, but we can take Horde players too because I think we can still raid with them, then look us up. We are on the Guild Finder. We're on the Guild Finder, and I do have a I do have a password that you need to say in your in your application. But I'll just tell you all because I'd love to play with you guys and gals. Uh, check us out. We're on uh, Kalthazad on the U.S. Just look up Disciples of Mayhem. It's not called the Mosh Pit. This is my old 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 old, old guild. I mean, we don't need movement speed at this point with. Uh, with the amount of damage that we're doing, yeah, we could, could do that. We could have done the Sacrum Shuffle, but. Yeah, I wanted to put the word out now, just in case if uh, if people out there are playing the War Within, 
and you want to play with your your fellow mosh pit members and myself too i'll be i'll be playing a lot um it would be great to get a pvp group together it'd be great to get a raiding group together I don't know how much I'll dedicate to actual raids and stuff, but heroics and, and mythics and PVP is, is going to be my main focus, obviously, because of water. But I wanted to put it out there because we definitely would love to get more members. And as long as you're cool and and you're you're able to uh, be able to play and just you know, just just uphold the the excellence that is the mosh pit, well, we'd love to have you. Ceremonial robes does not count as uh, for the Le Leviathan transformation. It would be nice though if it did. Here we are on another another mega CAC episode, and really, it's it's what no. It's what host hat host hat's what brings this one all together. Because obviously, I mean, you can play with Ibikak and Mega if you wanted to, but I don't recommend it. How did that even happen? Yeah, Isaac, you need, you need Isaac, Isaac, chill out. Uh, we could go straight to we could go straight to the chest. I wouldn't oppose to it. I do want to see what's inside of this of this devil deal first though. Host Tad giving us the explosion immunity for Ipecac and Mega is just just the bee's knees. And also I should mention really quickly too, just gonna do a a uh, not shameless plug at all. But if you happen to be on Twitch and you haven't done it already, you can gift two subs two subs in my channel, twitch.tv slash Invicta, uh, while I'm playing WoW, and you will get a you will get a WoW pet. It's gonna give us brimstone, and I mean there's no way we don't take this here. Leviathan, and then we can take Guppy's collar. Life is good. Uh, but because we use that HP, we can't do the Sacrum Shuffle anymore. And honestly, I'm fine with that. Yeah, just two gifted subs and you get a, uh, you get a free, I mean, technically it's not free, but you get a free in-game WoW pet. Which is pretty awesome. It's a, uh, it's a little spectral owl. It's green. And it's it looks it looks really cool. Um, I get I gave mine. I gifted two subs in Crendors and Coach Crendors stream. If I could get it, but you can also get a free WoW mount by you don't have to you don't have to pay anything. You just watch my stream while I'm playing WoW for a total of four hours, and uh, it is cumulative, so you can watch it not only on my stream but anyone else's. But if you want to support me, that'd be cool as well. Judge. You can do so. Whoops, you doodle. You can do so at twitch.tv slash Invicta. I probably will not be live by the time this video goes out. Let's go follow it over there. Twitch.tv slash Invicta. It's real easy. Brother. I do not know how this is not the right place. No. Not the right way to go. Okay, curse the maze. Curse the maze. You're you're testing my patience now. <laughs> okay. Look, game. If you if you want this run to end early, I'm that's that's fine. This is this is how you get a run a run to not go to a victory lap. I'll tell you that. Yeah, 
definitely use a little bit more damage. Our brimstone is our brimstone's hitting, but it's not it's not as hard as you would think. I mean, it's still hitting hard, but I'd like to I'd like it to hit a little bit harder. I am happy that we got the Leviathan transformation. Uh, Spectral Tears. I mean, it is a it is a damage up for Dark Matter, but check the Joker. Yeah, gonna take Lusty Blood because that is a significant, significant damage upgrade. We gotta be careful here because we don't want to get swung into a, one of the Devil Dio items that would actually legitimately kill us, dude. These spiders coming out of nowhere are. I'm I'm done with it. As the one problem with Mega is that you have to worry about the you have to be careful with the visual doo doo. Kind of floods the screen and everything. So obviously we have the relic for HP. Lusty Blood is going to help us out greatly with uh, that stacking damage. Now we gotta like play careful on this stuff, and that's not fun. Oh, especially when we go the wrong way again. What's going on here? We've got six keys, but the left hand is going to give us a little bit more of a chance to get HP than uh, just regular yellow chests or golden chests. I'm not going to use Mega until I know for sure we're going the right way. Wow, I'm actually surprised that thing still lived. Got ourselves a Yave. I haven't seen Chubb in a while. There we go. There we go. Now it goes lamb. No problem at all. Yeah, we do figure that. Come on. Second seed. Victor, Foxtrot, Tango, Whiskey, Kilo, Charlie, Zulu, Foxtrot. As you heard there and see, uh, Mega actually goes through the four transitions, but it doesn't it doesn't work against the the duration. It just simply continues on, which is a nice little, that is a nice little benefit of Mega is that you do get that continuation, which can help you. It, it's, it's good for value. Help us now we're talking. So now we know for a fact where we need to go, where we need to not go, unless we get debated by the map. Flat file. We'll take a flat file in case we end up running into any spike rocks or anything like that. Obviously, it's going to be very, very helpful here with, uh, with us being on a victory lap as well. It's going to mean that we don't have to worry about paying the four, or not four, but uh, two. It's four with Voodoo Head. Uh, the two extra HP every single floor for us to go into a uh, curse room. Now we have to worry about that because now is the opportunity for us to sort of profit in HP. Get a lot of that. Get a lot of the health that we lost in that, uh, that dark chest back. Go. It takes us right to the secret room. Oh, man. Okay. Now we're cooking. We're already cooking, but now we're now we're frying. We're deep frying. Getting cancer is going to give us the wafer effect every time we take damage in a room. There you go. There you go. YouTube commenters, you got your wish. Now it's four hearts that we get to save. Sample for damage and immediately go to a Krampus fight. But that's to be expected here. 
Hopefully we get some kind of way to get another charge on our space bar item. Get Mega going. Oh, I can't. I forgot. Silly me. I can't open chests while I've got Mega going. Why? Don't ask me why. Because that's repentance, baby. Bombs. We gotta walk all the way back up here like some kind of schmuck. And got some spiders and flies. Good start. You're a seventh of the way of paying for Voodoo Head. At full price. Blood puppy and bombs. Okay. Treasure map. Nice. Uh, now we have full mapping. And we even get ourselves a portal to the ultra seeker room. Sister Maggie. Wow. The poop for the second time in this run. Game is very clearly done with this run. Tears of Grade definitely needed. Yeah, I mean, multi dimensional maybe is fine. Okay, we got Ghost Pepper again after the poop. What's going on in your game? You really, you really just don't want us doing this run, huh? The great curse room there provided by Voodoo Head. You probably be super dead. Get some moolah out of the way here. Uh, there's, there is no reason for us to go into the item room. Because again, Ghost Pepper does not stack on each other. So a little bit of a soul heart going on here nice having flat file it means that we just don't have to worry about e even if it's a gamble we don't have to, there's there's no gamble in terms of our hp because we can always at the bare minimum save the hp that we were going that we're going to be spending in there get it back i know that i know that the that relic dropped one back there but can't be bothered Ooh, uh, here it would be nice to get another couple of luck upgrades not that we need it at this point Jesus, choose. This, this is the run of repeating items. D Bizzle. Going on D Bizzle. Uh, D Bizzle, I'm not going to lie. You probably won't get much action here because we are uh, we are moving. I think that's... I'm pretty sure that's Belly Jelly. I think. Holding poop here gives us a whole bunch of money. Never mind, it was Butterbean. <laughs> oh, Belly Jelly Butterbean. Same thing. A Jelly Belly, that is a that is considered a, a bean, right? No, there, there's a lot of bean items. Why don't why is there not a bean transformation? That's what I want to know. The curse room here. Guppy's paw and another curse the tower. Again, does not stack. The greed fight. All right. Super secret room is super secret bad. Plastic brownie here. Get another packed. I do think it is kind of moronic that you can't pick up stuff. Wise, use that. I might as well take duality as well. Switch it up here. Since we already have uh, 
we've already got the Leviathan transformation. We'll see if we can get a Guppy transformation out of the uh, first rooms. Those box games, 20 cents. Keeper. And says as well. I thought we really needed it because obviously. E Bizzle. Just a shadow. I actually didn't really want to get teleported into the devil deal. There are times where you just don't want that to happen. Fanny pack, we can take fanny pack. Down with, I'm, I'm down with fanny pack. Uh, Lopia. Let's see what, what is, what is in our, ooh, Halo flies. Great item right there, double orbital. We have so many orbitals now. I think we'll probably just save Diplopia for some good shop roll here. A steam sale, might as well get three steam sales, I guess. I don't think it's going to do anything, but. Now, what would have been nice is to get the backpack and then also have two megas. That'd be cool. Since this was a diplopiad uh, mega blast, that's the reason why it started off with a full charge. My God. Isaac. So second go of boss rush here. Let's see if we get anything cool. We've been in there, so we know we don't have to worry about that. Here comes veins, mystery sack, parting baby, and I acted. We got through that other way first. That's okay. Then we can use Mega Blast after going into the into the uh, curse room here. Bunch of soul hearts here. Two soul hearts. We go into the curse room and then we'll just Mega Blast our way out of here. Soul hearts and pills. really no point of using a mega shot in a room that has uh, a bunch of hosts in it. Okay. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to go through there, but I was trying to get Isaac under control. He was just flipping out. Bob's curse. Yeah, this the mega cack laser is just first first time for the second time. Mega cack laser is just so good at destroying not only not only enemies obviously, but also just any rocks that are anywhere near the vicinity of Isaac. Just just kiss them goodbye; they're gone. So it's a good way to get coverage for uh, for trying to find like tinted rocks or crawl spaces or anything like that. Secret room's there. Get a full charge thanks to Spider Mod. I know D-Bizzle, I know. But look, we already have full HP. This run is an absolute slam dunk on the dunk rating. Ooh. That's another full charge. We are going to get ourselves Blood of the Martyr, which is nice. It's going to be a very nice damage upgrade for us. No reason to fight old Hushy. You would be surprised at how not great damage Mega is to old Hushy. 
even with Ipecac, it still takes forever to get him to kill him. And again, again, there's just really no reason. Once you have Keeper Sack or something like that, there's just no reason to fight Hush. Let you take that so hard for me. Oh, apparently we ran over one. Trying its hardest to waste our mega charge here. We're not going to let it. But look at that double. If you're wondering where that giant double beam is coming from, it's because we're shooting through multi dimensional baby. Get our last voodoo inspired curse room here. And yep. Yep. You know what I'm going to say. You already know what I'm going to say. So I'm just not even going to say it. That's all that needs to be said. All right. Toxic Shock is just going to be the end of all things here. Uh, Loki Swords. Oh, my God. And Crack the Skizzle would be nice, but we got Mega. Keep her shot. No, thank you. Little Krampus's head shot there. Thanks to Loki's horns and brimstone. What a run, though! What a fantastic run! This was a this was a run for the for the uh, modern ages, I would say. Not like I, w I wouldn't call this a new, new, new tag. We've already had we've already had one of those hell last week. But this one was a very strong run. Obviously, having Mega as a start is just going to be an instant dunk. And as long as you've got navigation or something something like that. On top of it, it's going to be it's, it's going to be even better. And then on top of that, if you get a tier upgrade, uh, tier effect that goes along with Mega, you're just you're you're in for a good time. So that's what this run was. So thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you click the button, leave a comment down below. I hope you have a great start to your new early weekend here in the Mosh Pit, and welcome all new subscribers as well. It's great to see you. Love to have you in the community. And remember. Go check out our WoW Guild, Disciples of Mayhem, on Kel'Thuzad. We are an Alliance Guild, but you can also do cross-faction guilds as well now, which is pretty cool. And thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, and as always, I will see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like and thanks to pages of mine like Jade Fright, Luke, and Dimble Wimble. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of, my, of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.